We're happy to have you join us. Kylie's going to be joining us in a, a few minutes, but I wanted to get started at 10, which is when we scheduled the video. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Kylie Batucci is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My name is Bruno Batucci, and today I'm going to be making a craft project for you. So uh, we're so happy that you joined us. Just a few things before we get started. Of course, it's time for celebration. So uh, if you are unfamiliar with celebration, this is one of Stampin' Up's promotions um, where if you make a purchase, you get a free... Oh, hello, Kylie. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I messed up. Did you know what to do? There wasn't sound. Oh, it's so easy to do. Yeah, I thought that when I pressed that, well, that's a really smart way to get everyone to comment. I sound like a Verizon. <laughs> yeah, there was lots of comments there. <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> I'm filling up the coffee machine with water. Would anyone like a frappuccino? Uh, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as I was saying, celebration. That's one of uh, two promotions that Stampin' Up! has during the year. Where you, in Australia, if you make a purchase of $90, you can choose anything for free. Yay. And in this publication, there are lots of things that you can choose from. There's some awesome um, designer series paper. There's some stamp sets. There's some cards and envelopes, which are still available here in Australia. <gasps> yes, they're sold out of the... Sold out in the US. Which ones um, are they? The soft sea foam. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see that. So, actually, let me just point you down for a second and I'll just walk you through the celebration catalog so um, yes this is what you do so basically the premise is you make a purchase of $90 or more and you select a free item okay so here's a stamp set that you can redeem for free hippest hippos there's some awesome samples around that did you see the one that was um, made into a cow Yes. Dallas Cram, Cram from Australia made it. It was so I think she's good. from New Zealand. So oh, there's said, the right. Hippest Hippos stamp set. And if you do another $90 purchase, you can do the Hippo Dies as well. There's the amazing, this is my top tip. This is my favourite. Oh, that's um, beautiful, that paper. The Rings of Love designer series paper, which coordinates with some other products that are from the new uh, mini catalogue. There's the envelopes and cards, which you can redeem for free. These have been very popular, so popular in the US that um, they're out of stock. Yeah. So that's how popular they are. So all of these items can go out of stock. Like, well, I think well, it's just good to know that. Yeah, while well, supplies last. So if you're waiting, <laughs> yeah. um, don't wait. Don't hold back. They could sell <laughs> because out. Because they will sell out, yeah. Mm. Here's another stamp set that you can redeem called Stylish Sketches. Uh, that's very sketchy. <laughs> you're that's bit, the name. You're a bit sketchy. <laughs> and here's another one. This is, you can't really see it here, but I happen to have it just over here. This is some designer series. It's six by six designer series paper. And you can, they're available in silver and gold. Mm. So. Um, Great for spun, um, using the brush, blending brushes. Blending brush. yeah. So all of those items that, I have shown you thus far, they can be redeemed with a $90 purchase. Mm -hmm. These ones here, if you make a $180 purchase, you can redeem that. So this is a cool stamp set, uh, amazing phrasing, which you can redeem. It's, um, I just have it over here and look how many stamps you get. Like there's, this wow. is enormous. So. I did use it. Looks like we haven't used it, but I have. I did use that last night. Another one to redeem is these dies. Has a cute caravan, which I believe is called an airstream caravan. Oh, cool! Uh, there is this bundle, so stamp set and some designer series paper, which you can redeem. And in fact, this paper is features on the sample that I have. Uh, to show you today and That's exciting. yes this one here if your order is over five hundred dollars which lots of you have um, benefited from this you get this amazing look how beautiful it is it's um, I love that color what, is that Mary Merlin? oh uh, probably Raza 
Rich Reza. Oh, Rich Reza. Oh, Blackberry Bliss. It's Blackberry, very good, Blackberry yeah. Bliss. That looks so good. So there's a stamp set. And of course, mm. as you know, the best value offer is to join our team. And so uh, when you join our team, you can get, in addition to the amazing starter kit, which is $169 here in Australia, you get to pick $235 worth of products and you get this planner for free. Yay! So that was a lightning tour of what Celebration is all about. And then you get to be a crazy crafter too. Look. <gasps> Do you want to be a crazy crafter? There's my coffee there. <laughs> I better not spill it. <laughs> the crazy crafters. You get to be on our team. So one other thing I just want to um, share with you. So let me just change my... Yes. So if I go to here and preview that... So in the, um, in the description below, you can, there are access, you can link to lots of things that we have available. We have tutorials, we have pins. One thing I really want to highlight is this tutorial bundle here, which is the Splendor Day tutorial bundle. Ooh. And you can just click on this picture and you, there's lots there to select from, but make sure you're selected on the Splendor Day tutorial bundle. And you can get 27 amazing projects. I'll just hover over those. And you can see them in a bit more detail. So that's one thing I want to highlight. So if you buy it, it's $30. Yeah. What if you shop this month? If you us. shop with us this month, uh, you get it for free. <gasps> what if you're a team member this month? If you um, are a crazy crafter direct to us, you get it for free. <gasps> So there you go, people. The other thing I want to highlight is our enamel pins. Now, um, we have worked out how to post it better. Yay. So, um, yeah, if you have looked at this before and you think, oh, the postage is too much, we have sort of looked at some other alternatives and the postage is a bit better. So have a look at that and you can um, get some of our enamel pins. And let me tell you, watch this space because our enamel pins <gasps> range what? is about to enlarge. Really? So watch this space, okay? <laughs> so let's get back to our project and let's see if I can work this out. Preview live. Yes, I did. Well done. So is there anything else, Chloe? No, I think that was everything, wasn't it? Yeah. Well done, honey. Yeah. Yeah, I did it myself. So let's create a scene. <laughs> Someone commented that in the US, when you say create a scene, it's like create some drama. Create some drama, and I said it's yes. It's a bit like that here, isn't it? That's entirely appropriate for our video today. <laughs> so, who wants to see the project that we are yes, making please. today? This is the project that we what? are making today. What do you think, people? That's very cool. So as I mentioned, this paper here is from the Beautiful World Designer Series Paper Collection. Um, we're not going to make it with this one. We're going to make it with another piece of Designer Series Paper from the Lovely in Linen. Had to check what it was called. Lovely in Linen Designer Series Paper. And when I first saw this dye collection, I imagined... I imagined a scene, <laughs> creating a scene with some wallpaper. And the we have... possibilities are endless with this window. Yes, absolutely. I really like someone to um, put some surfing hippos in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can do that. Like, we have, in this version here, we have used the rays of light yep. stamp set. But we wanted to highlight that there are so many. In fact, can I have the um, annual catalogue, please? You may. Jesse Scott's in the house for an Evertici. I saw that. Yes. Um, I don't know if it's not there. It's gone walkabout. So anyway, on page something <laughs> of the cat. Oh, is that it? I just, oh, no. No, there's the mini here. The two minis. What about in natural? Anyway, there's some pages on the catalogue <laughs> that show background stamps. 
And th this is one of the background stamps. It's called Rays of Lights. Background stamps. And we've used that in one of our projects before. But just imagine some of the other background stamps that you could use here. Or just imagine something else that you could use uh, through the window. So I'm going to, a card with a view, yes. So just imagine that. Look, look at the catalogue and look at what you could um, substitute for rays of light um, to have that view through the window. So I'm going to show you how I made this today. It's, I've really had a, a good time making it. So first of all, um, what designer series paper am I going to use? So I'll just put that off to the side. As I mentioned, uh, we're going to use something from the lovely in linen designer series paper collection. Laura, we are both doing very well. Thank you for asking. Now, when you get this out of the pack, you can think, um, you think it all looks like wallpaper, doesn't it? <laughs> Basically, all of these sheets you could imagine as wallpaper. This would look like an amazing piece of wallpaper. This would look like an amazing piece of wallpaper. This would look like amazing. They would all look fantastic as a piece of wallpaper. <laughs> And the one that I have selected is, yeah, that's all of them. The one that I've selected is this one. I like that one. Thank you, Jasper. That's for you, Jesse. So this is the one that I've used and I've already pre-cut it. So, um, nice. But yeah, when you look at designer series paper, do you sometimes think, wow, that reminds me of a bedspread or <laughs> that reminds me of some <laughs> wallpaper so this is the piece I guess I knew you, Bruno. <laughs> this is the piece that I selected and so because of this I'm going to change up the colors a bit this one was on a I don't even know what that color is called orchid oasis um, card base but I'm going to do this one on a knight of navy card base and so that's what I'm going to do. So first up, um, now with these Windows cards that have something, um, a die that you cut through, in the past what I've actually done is cut the designer series paper using the die and then cut through the card. Today I've really simplified it. So I'm going to show you exactly how I made this and I think you'll be a bit shocked at how simple it is. <laughs> So first up, let's just stick this down. That shows how strong the seal plus is. Took some of the designer series paper with it. And again, <laughs> just ignore that. Do you sometimes have that problem? That the seal plus is very strong. So here's a tip of how to line up some paper, everybody. We've shown you this before. And so you just push this up into the corner and then put the other piece up into the corner over the top. And that just lines that up. Perfectly. So as long as it's cut the same size, that's one way that you can align two pieces of paper that are the same. That's a hot tip for you. So again, I'm going to create this scene. So we've got like a baseball, um, it's, I don't know, I forget what that's called. It's like a, a board that separates the top, <laughs> the top part and the lower part. So first of all, I'm going to, I've got a piece of basic white. Oh, I cut that incorrectly. It's no good, let me cut that again. Okay, so, and how big did I do that one? Yeah, about that. Yeah, that's better. So how are we going over on the chat? Wayne Scotting, okay. So I'm just going to build this scene a bit more. So I'm just going to stick that one down. 
Boy, that's so strong. Okay, a bit more there. And again, I'll use my tip. Chair rail, that's another one. Hi Susan, thanks for joining us today. So again, I'll push that into the edge, the corner there and I'll just push that into the corner over the top. And while I have this one here, I'll add the blue chair rail just over the top like that. And we'll just do it like so. Okay, so that's basically the, the base of our card. Now, let's work on the background stamp. Dado Rail. Thanks for that, Susan. I can't believe I didn't remember that. What is it? It's a Dado Rail here in Australia. A Dado Rail? That's the rail across. Ah. Or a chair rail. Some people call it wainscoting in the comments. Wainscoting. <laughs> so this is the stamp that I'm going to use. If you haven't already got this, it's beautiful. And it's really nice to stamp. So let's have a look at how I'm going to stamp that. I've set it up already on the um, Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is an amazing tool. So I've just got a piece of um, basic white, I've stuck it down, because it's such a big piece of, a big stamp, I couldn't actually use the um, magnets on the piece of paper, a uh, cardstock, so I've just stuck it down to this piece of grid paper and I've used the magnets to keep it in place. So first up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Daffodil Delight, and I'm just going to apply that very liberally. That's a good idea. Just putting a stamp set under there so it sits a bit flat. Nice. Eat that baby up. Okay. And the benefit of the Stamparatus is that when you st um, put the... When you stamp it onto the cardstock, if it doesn't work, or if there's something misstamped, you can just do it again. Love it. Wow, that looks so good. But I think that's fine. This part here, as you can see on the sample, we basically only need the window width. So that's all we're really looking at. But you'll notice that around the sun there, I've got a bit of shading. So let me show you how I did that. So I don't need the Daffodil Delight anymore. And I'll just push this over here. And so I've got some Calypso Coral. I'm going to use Sponge Daubers. Open that carefully. And I'm going to use, if you um, would like this, in the description below, we have some PDF, on that same page that I showed you earlier, mm. there are PDF tutorials available there, and that's a free one that you can download. Sadly, it only fits the wood mount cases. So keep asking Stampin' Up to bring back wood mount cases. <laughs> We need them, stamp it up. Okay, so all I'm going to do, I'm going to get my sponge dauber, I'll put it in a bit of the um, Calypso Coral. Yeah, I, it's very juicy because I re-inked it today. And I'm just going to dauber it around here. What's going on with them today? He's a bit needy. He wants a massage. He's an old man. And I'll just stamp that. And because of this Stamparatus, it's going to be in exactly the same spot. Yes, I'm talking about Jasper. <laughs> just in case you're wondering who I'm calling an old man. She's calling me an old man. <laughs> 
and see how it sort of gives that effect like that. I really like that. And so that's basically all that we are doing with this. So we don't need the stamp set anymore. I'll just take this off. What are your sponge daubers sitting in, please? I'll just show you that again, Donna. We have so, a very clever friend. <laughs> so we have, uh, these are the old uh, wood mount cases that Stampin' Up! used to sell. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell them anymore. Uh, but we just made a one of these pieces of paper uh, which you can download from that website. But this thing here is a 3D printed, um, I don't know what you call holder, <laughs> that just sits inside the wood mount case that a friend of ours made for us. Um, I don't think they sell them, but we can check on that. But do they sell them? I don't know. Yeah, watch this space. Yeah, we'll let you know if she still sells them, but they're very good. It's so helpful. It keeps sure them all someone, together. Someone in another country could come up with a 3D printer yeah. insert <laughs> for the Dorber case. For the Dorber case, yeah. <laughs> so, this is this. This is this. Now, I'm going to bring the die cutting machine over here. I finish his massage and then he looks at me like, more, more. <laughs> okay. Now, actually, before I start doing the die cutting, let's just analyze what we are going to be die cutting. So first up, we need a sun. Now, what I used for the sun was the layering circles, and I used the smallest of the, oops, the smallest of the circles, but the one with the, um, I don't know what that's called, like the frilly bit. Scallop edge. Scallop edge. <laughs> <laughs> the frilly bit. Now, I don't typically, um, I wouldn't typically use that as a sun, but when you look at how small the scallop is, it actually gives the impression that it is a sun. So that's what I use. So I've actually already um, cut that for you. So the way that that's going to work is that's going to just sit like that. So that's going to be really cool. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is cut out some of the window dies. Now the window dies are, it's awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. I really like them. What we have, we have two pieces. We have this piece, which is the outside frame. And then we have this piece which is the inside frame. Now to get the inside frame cut out, you actually have to have them, cut them at the same time. Oh, okay. Good Does that know. make sense? Because if you just cut that out, it will just cut the inside pieces out. But you need to cut them mm -hmm. at the same time. Yep. Now, Lena, hey Bruno and Kylie, I would love one of those hand things that you are using to press down. Can you send me the link? I'm not sure, again, this is one of our watchers, um, Julie, um, I don't know, Yellow Gnome, if you're there, um, she sent that in to us, so we're really happy. It's Some other people have used, um, you can get them from Officeworks, it's a, a whiteboard eraser or a dry eraser eraser, um, but yeah, we love it. It really is really, really helpful. Yeah, if you live in Australia, just message me, I do have her details. And she is selling them, I think. But yeah, just message me. I can pass it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the outside frame from a piece of Knight of Navy. And as you can see, I've added some foam adhesive sheets. So I've already added a piece of foam adhesive sheet to the back. So let me first of all cut this outside one out, and you're going to have to watch everybody. 
So I'll just bring this on. You make that sound like it's some sort of torture or something. Oh, it probably is. No, <laughs> we love watching you do some die cutting. So I'll just put this on and cut that through. It still amazes me that the die cuts work using with foam adhesive oh, no. sheets. <laughs> we it, were like, no. Nah. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> So that is, ah, oh, you probably can see that I'm using the magnetic sheet. I probably shouldn't, but ours works fine. So unfortunately there were some quality issues with. I'm so sad because I love it so much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's one good thing about Stampin' Up! is they'll always, if they feel there's an issue, they'll always back it up. Yeah. So that's the outside frame. Now what we have to do is we're going to cut the inside frame. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So on this example here, I made the frame, the outside frame and the inside frame the same color. I'm going to try something different and I'm going to use a piece of uh, soft suede. Very good. So again, what I was saying before is you need to put the outside frame and do you know where I put, oh, there it is. Yeah, they go for walks on this disc. <laughs> and so you have to line it up like this. And I use something very cool to keep it in place. It's post-it tape. Other people use things like post-it notes, but you want to sort of align it so that it is in the center. Okay, so just hold it down and stick it down. And I really don't want it to move. So I'm gonna stick another piece over here, like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna die cut that one. I was going to pre-cut all of these, but I wanted to show you how to do it, so. It's good, because I wouldn't have known that you had to have them together to cut the inside piece. So. Yeah, well, I did it first, and I was like, um. um. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this not cut out? <laughs> Okay, so I'll just peel that back and show you the results. You can all see that on my end screen, yep. Oh, I'm glad, Linda. Linda said that I explained things well. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Bruno is very clear. <laughs> This is very good at, at giving directions. Now, when you cut this one out, you automatically are left with another piece around the outside. So you can use that for another project. Um, but all we really want is the inside part. So now just a warning, if you, uh, if you don't have a lot for this particular project to recreate it, you will need a lot of foam adhesive sheets. So it's not for the faint hearted. <laughs> So let me just pop that out. There we are. Jasper snoring now. <laughs> we gave him his massage. And now he's like, yeah, I'm happy now. Now you can see the back part came off. That's okay. We don't really need that. So we'll just put that aside and pop these inside bits out. <laughs> it has cut through the, the part that we needed to cut through, but what it hasn't cut through is the backing sheets. So that's okay. We just need the, the top part anyway. So I'll just pop these ones out. Now, if you live in Australia, you can get all of the, these products that I'm using um, from our online store. Um, I've, 
there's description on YouTube. There are description in the description. There's a link to our online store where you can get all of those things. Uh, if you live in another country, you can get them from wherever you get them from. But I've listed the names of the products that you'll be using. So, oh wow, that looks really cool. I'm really happy about that. Oh, that looks very nice. Now I'm just going to put that face up, and I'm going to do a final explanation of what how this <laughs> is easier than other window cards that I've made in the past. Now, how do I make? Whoops. How do I make that um, sun? How do I make a hole in this so that I can see the sun? Well, it's really quite easy. I just cut this out. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit simple. So I would have complicated that. I have complicated it in the past. <laughs> I have like cut, cut a hole down. and cut this one down. Yeah. <laughs> Cut it out again. <laughs> and so you can have then it. You can just you can put it. Exactly you can put it wherever where you want. want. Yeah. You can have it sort that's of good. off center like that, which I think that's how I'll do it. And the clear plate is there. And so again, you have all of this. The rest of this. Oops, that's what that's basically all we need from that. That's great. And you have the rest of this sheet that you can use for another project. And you also have this frame that automatically gets cut out. So I'll just put that aside. Do we need the dough? Yes, we will need the dough later, but I'll just put it down over here. So now we can start the assemblage. So first of all, what we're going to do now, you can see that there's blue on the side. It's because I didn't, I didn't fold it properly. It's this sheet is okay. <laughs> just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> I would have just thought it was a shadow. Oh, we need to do one more die collection because die cut. Can you see that there is a window sheet there? And can you see that this sun is on has dimensionals on it? How did I do that? Kylie, how did I do that? I have no idea. My brain hurts. Any suggestions on how I did that? So this has something that it can sit on, but it's sitting proud of the sun because it can allow the dimensional. Let me tell you people. There are two layers of foam adhesive sheets. So I have another piece of foam adhesive sheet. This is why I was saying it's not for the faint of heart if you <laughs> don't want to use <laughs> lots of foam adhesive sheets. So I'm just going to get a blank foam adhesive sheet and I'll explain the reason why I have the two layers. It will make Hopefully it will make sense in a moment. Hopefully. I'm just impressed that you got to, got it to line up. So, I'm pretty sure that's all the die cutting that we will, oh, one more thing later. Except for the centi. So again, you can, Keep these oh, because yeah, these will be perfect for, you know, um, sentiments, small skinny sentiments. You could use all of those. So keep all of those. And, of course, this piece in the middle, keep because you will find some use for that. No foam adhesive left behind. No foam adhesive left behind. Mm. So what we are going to do now is we're going to put this on. Then we have a piece of window sheet that we are going to put on. Then we are going to put this on. Oh. And then we will have something so that's why it's to like stick that. <laughs> uh, okay. But I hear you. Actually, there was some, a step that I missed. What was that? So we stick this on. Oh, yes. Then we stick 
this on. Uh, on the inside. On the inside, but we push it down and then we'll put the dimensional. Then we put the window sheet and we'll cut that down. Yeah. Then we'll put that on. Right. And then we'll put the other one on. Right. Does that make sense, everyone? Yeah. In the past, what I've done is like I've laid this out and then I've put, tried to get this on. It was just easy to put this on first. Yep. So what I'm going to do first up is I'm going to just to make sure that it is in the center. I'm just going to measure the center of this. This is the architect coming out in Bruno. So that's six and a half. So six and a half, half of six and a half is three and a quarter. So let me just put a little mark there. Okay. And then half of 10 and a half is five and a quarter. Is there a pencil or something? Yeah, I think I've got one in my top drawer. How I can I have that? I had a whole pack of them. Oh yeah, that's a, a razor bill pen. So I'll just put that mark there that's going to be covered so that's okay don't forget the sun of course thank you Kelly <laughs> so I'm just going to unpeel this and line basically I can line oops, don't stick <laughs> there I want to line the line of the Yep, like that. I'll just let that fall just so that it's nice. Okay. Yay. Step one. Now step two. Let's just get some adhesive of choice. Charlotte's asking, did you used to be hesitant about using foam adhesive? Um, no. There's it, always been a foam adhesive. But I know that some people are like, oh, I'm using so much. Just like using dimensionals. He hasn't replaced it for dimensionals. He's still a dimensional crazed fan. I think Patty Bennett has moved to just foam adhesive sheets. It's just quicker. Few. <laughs> so, team, can you see what I've done there? I've made sure that this is pushed down to the back yep. so that it gives it something like a, a base to, to sit on. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just line this up and I'll just... I don't want it to go all the way to the edges. I just want it to go... So I'll just put a little snippy snip snip there. Can you um, die cut window sheets? You can die cut, but if you die cut the window sheet, yeah. it will cut. You want it to sit on this, but if you use the die uh, cut, it'll cut the middle. It'll cut the middle out, right. and that's not what we want to do. Yeah. So I'll just. Oh yeah, it the works. But for the top one, I'm going to have to just eyeball it, go along the edge. Let's see how close I was, and hopefully, I didn't cut too much. Oh, you're yep. close. Perfect. Well. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so I can't forget the sun. There we are. And I'll just pop that on a dimmy. A little dimmy dimensional. Put that in the middle there. Now I'm going to unpeel this and then lay the window sheet over the top. I'll start from the so the window sheet is sandwiched in between the two layers of foam adhesive sheets. Smart. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Did you and just then, turn New Zealand? So I've got the top frame, the coloured frame. I did a bit. I did a bit. 
<laughs> Bruno was reading the news, New Zealand news to me the other day, and he goes, um, something about someone from New Zealand Just said, Sunday. and and he read it in New Zealand. It was very entertaining. Now this is probably the most difficult part of the whole card. Oh yes, making sure you line the two layers of die cut pieces. You had me in stutches, Bruno. There we are, people. What do you think? Is that lined up enough? I think that looks beautiful. You could even leave it like that if you wanted to. You could even leave it like that. Mm. But I'm going to stick this frame that we've got yeah. over the top. So I'll just unpeel the rest of this that's still here. And that's already unstuck. And I'll just stick that in. And the window sheets give it something to stick to hold it up. Yeah, because I was thinking it's so flimsy, but that, yeah, solidifies it all. Yeah. Oh, wow. I love the different colour. <laughs> what do you think, people? Oh, that looks amazing. See, we created a scene. <laughs> <laughs> So dramatic, Bruno. Stop creating a scene. <laughs> now, this um, sentiment is was perfect. I used a couple of different product, products for this one. Oops, sorry about that, everyone. I'm like, what is that smell? Kylie's putting on nail polish. Can you smell it? Yes, I can. Wow. It's hurting my eyes. It's hurting your eyes. You can smell it through your eyes. Make me a cough, cough, please. I'd love to. Would you like um, the Furtado? Sure. Nelly Furtado. So I used a couple of different products, which are also listed in the description over on YouTube there. I used the Apple Harvest stamp set, and I used this cool little sentiment here. Pro tip, maybe wait before you buy this and maybe you can buy something special soon. Ooh. And in the fabulous frames, I use this cool um, little, I don't know what you'd call it, piece. All of these. Sentiment die cut. These would look perfect in a scene like this. Like you can imagine mm. pictures like this on the wall next to next to this window. You could put Jessie's picture there in a frame. You could put Jessie's picture in a frame. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want it, but... <laughs> Maybe we could have a picture of all three of us in a frame. <laughs> so, let me just stamp this. I haven't done this part, so you're going to have to watch me do it. Oh, we can handle that. If people want quick videos, they can go to your Instagram. Yes, I put a new reel up last night. We did, and it's a very cool one. And did you notice we commented on it? No. I thought you may have missed it because I saw it late last night. Just Sean Douglas. He did not. Yeah, he no, brought he the message. Yeah, he did because he's so lovely. He gave you a heart smiley. Let me see if I can find it. So this, people, if you haven't got this, do yourself a favour. No, it's the wrong one. Is that the right one? No, yeah, that's the right one. See? He gave you heart smiley eyes. Oh, but that wasn't in the on the message. Anyway, thank you, thank you, Sean. <laughs> it doesn't count unless it's public. Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't see it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> so this is the you're embossing not buddy. Enough for me. I'm just trying to teach you class. <laughs> This is the embossing buddy. What's this for? This reduces the static electricity and it, it helps the embossing powder not to stick. Okay? You want it not to stick. Or well, you want it to stick where you want it to stick, but you don't want it to stick where you don't want it to stick. <laughs> That's the easy way of explaining that. So the sentiment here. Okay. There we have it. So just got some Versamark. That's basically clear glue. That's the only way to describe it. Um, yeah, that looks like it stamped nicely. And so, is this the white one or the clear one? 
I put the clear one with the other one there. Okay. So, what's this for? What's this little tray here for? Let me show you people, because you're going to want it if you don't already have it. So, I'm just going to dump the embossing powder like that. And look how perfect that is. That's very nice. But there's a little, little flickle of embossing powder. So you can use this brush and around the edge there, around that edge. And look, there's no stray embossing bits. <laughs> That's what you call them, bits. <laughs> so then I'm just going to, how do I get this out? Well, look at this, people. What? How many of you already got this? So good. How many of you want to get this now? That you have to get it. it. You have to get it. Have to. Thank you, my love. And so you can use this little brush to just brush it in. I just got an email from Kathy, and she said, "What day and time is your YouTube live?" Right now, Kathy. <laughs> Just emailed her back. Are we live now, Kathy? <laughs> Come and join us. <laughs> she goes, What time? I, I stumble upon you a couple of times and I'd like to watch you live one day. <laughs> it's also good to keep everything together. It's amazing for that, actually. Oh, he just got a notification from news.com. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> it won't be anything good. <laughs> Charlotte says she has it and she loves it. Randy um, says, just got mine and it's fab. Leanne Slee, I love my embossing toolkit. Laura Barton, I love my embossing kit. Uh, every time I watch embossing, it still makes me excited. Yeah. I think it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Oh, it worked. It worked and it looks amazing. And it looks amazing. <laughs> Honestly, white embossing on a dark... A dark... Um, Piece of cardstock. Can't beat it, people. Now, I'm going to use some of this off cut. Is that wide enough, actually? Yes, I can do that. Let me just trim, 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 trim. Trim, trim, and And I'll just cut that there. Oh, no, I think I cut it too, too close. Oh no, that's okay. Oh, it's very close. Why did I cut it so close? You like to live on the edge. I'll just do that again. <laughs> you just wanted to emboss again. I did. Now I can use the other embossing tool. Kelly has all the original embossing tools and uses it often. Yes, we kept it too. Um, I think it's the only thing I've ever kept that I just couldn't let go of was the tray. Well, I think the magnetic plate. We got rid the of the other one. The magnetic plate will be the other thing we never get rid yeah. of. <laughs> we had one of our customers saying, when can they buy the um, magnetic magnetic plate and we were like oh sorry, sorry. you missed out it's gone, it's gone. but step up even refunded us for that yeah they're very good to hopefully us. that wasn't secret but no it wasn't secret so this is the other thing that comes in the mag embossing tool it's these little reverse clippers what are they called tweezers tweezers And Bruno isn't holding the tweezers, they're like holding itself. That's why it's reversed, like it's, it just stays. You squeeze it to open it. Correct. And then it stays shut. Which is so clever. 
I was like, how does this work? <gasps> it works like that. Yeah, so I didn't use the large one, Kelly, so I'm glad I didn't bring the large one yeah, back. Yeah, it's too big. Why are you cutting down again? You haven't you learnt from your mistakes before? <laughs> As you I started cutting, I'm like, why am I doing that? <laughs> You don't need to cut. I'm just going to do it that way. I was going to try to use less. <laughs> oh, is that what was yeah. happening? Okay. I'll just do that. Because <laughs> you could just use dimensionals, although it does look very yeah. good on the frame that is. That's why I wanted to yeah. use it. <laughs> and I'll just trim that little bit off. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I know it was painful to watch. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go... <laughs> <laughs> now I can't unstick it. Mm, let's hope that that's got all the bits that I need to get. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure it's worked. And last one. I'm very excited that there's new pins coming. I wonder what they are. Is there an ETD? Have they actually posted them yet? They've posted on their way. Oh, no. They're really? <gasps> so they'll be here in about a month or two. <laughs> no, they weren't. They didn't take that long last time, did they? A week okay. or two? Yeah. Mm. So I just used a bit more of this. Um, tapey tape. Tapey tape, tape, tape. Oh, we can't see. Oh, so is everyone. Beautiful. Enjoy the meeting, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. <laughs> now you're probably wondering why I put it up so high. Because it's because I wanted this panel to be there for the sentiment. Senti. Now, just a word on when you're using embossing folders. Um, not embossing folders, embossing sheets. If they're small, like on this piece here, you can't see the edge piece, but because this is a very small, you can sort of see that um, where the die is. So I can cope with that. Some people might not be able to. So this is why I love using a dimensional sheet, because look at this. Ta-da! Done. It is very good. Maybe we should do it for sentiments from now on. No it more It does look very good. It does look very good. And I'm going to have equal space at the top and the bottom and centered in the bottom of the card. Dinah loves our accents. Really? Really. We're so ugh, bogan. When I hear Australian accents, when we used to travel, I'd be like, oh, it's so embarrassing. Now, there is a, a little hole in the edge there, so I'll just pick that out. You can still see the white below, but that's okay. People. That is beautiful. That is our card for tonight. No, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> Has it got a nudie, nudie inside? It's nudie. It's nudie run. <laughs> it really does look wonderful, doesn't oh, thank it? Thank you, Lena. Thanks, Lorraine. Thanks, Rissa. Lorraine's over Lorraine. on Facebook. It's so good that it works. I know. I love having the dual stream. It's very good. Oh, my goodness. It's less than an hour. <laughs> Are you impressed with I'm yourself? so impressed. <laughs> you were flying through it. I'm like, what's the, what's the rush? What's going on? You've got somewhere to be. The couch is calling your name. The couch is calling my name. <laughs> he never goes to the couch. He'll do an Instagram reel next. Now, I could decorate it. I could use some of these side bits or one of the little flowers. The windows... Um, oh, I put that in the wrong set. The windows die collection has a coordinating stamp. You could use some of those if you like. Um, but I might just leave it like that. <laughs> Diana said, do you think Americans have accents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you I guys love... even have accents depending on what area you go in. I love pretending to be American when I'm in the U.S. People, Some people can't even, can't even tell 
that I'm not actually an American because I like to think that my accent is so good. <laughs> um, sir, what's your name? Are you checking in? Bruno, B-E-R-T-U-C-C-I. <laughs> if we say Batucci, Batucci. Batucci, they're like, what? Ba, ba, Batucci. Batucci, B-A. I'm trying to make it so that you Bur don't get any glare. Bur. But people, what do you think? So I get this, it. get this. If you purchase the Windows dies and the Rays of Light dies, you are eligible to get a free celebration item. Oh, that's a good idea. So um, you can get a $90 item, and we showed you those ones before. Uh, the Ring of Love, I think that's what it's called. Ring of Fire? Ring of... <laughs> <laughs> Down, down, down. <laughs> yeah, so you can get that. Higher. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bruno, that is so New York. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lena. Do I a love, do I love a Texas. Texas. Oh, I'm not sure I can do a Texas. Yeah, you can. No. You have to be like. Um, Remember, I'm not a performing monkey. Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. You just got to do the S's. And you're going to do a draw, and you're going to say y'all. So, so, so. Thank yeah. you very much, Susan, and thank you, Susan. Two Susans in a row. Um, my southern accent is so bad. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we have. So, we, we is there anything a, else? We have a friend from Boston. We always copy him. Jessica. Jessica's Jessica. husband. Jessica. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. So, Kylie yeah, well, Jane. I'm impressed, Bruno Patucci. I can't believe you did that within an hour. Come and say hello. Oh, yeah. Careful, Jasper. Jasper, move your legs. <laughs> Don't let me run over you, dog. Look at these chairs. Like, oh, oh, what's going on? Why are you moving? These chairs don't move unless you are sitting on them. Sitting on them. So it's, it's very a bit annoying. annoying. What did you think of my layer of the. Yeah, very good. Looks good. It looks like it's back a bit further. Thank you, Cynthia. Cynthia, I'm glad you liked it. I must say, I really, really love the Night of Maggie one. I do too. I feel the darker pops more off the page. I love the different frame. Yes, oh, and the right. different colours, yes. The frame on the inside is hot, really, really hot. So this was one of these things that we actually forgot to order, didn't we? Yes, we ordered that second. So the window sheets, the window dies just came yesterday. And what was they the came other thing? earlier in the week, but I didn't unpack them. <laughs> they didn't tell me about them. <laughs> and there was another stamp set too, is that yes. there? I want to have a play with that later on. So there was a couple of things that we forgot to order in the new mini. Seal this of looks approval. really cute. Oh, I think autofocus is on. So, yeah, That's seal right, of yeah. approval. And the other thing that we got. Yeah, I'm excited about playing with that is one too. this one. Yes, how did we not this how, get this die? Well, it's not. In, yeah. It was one of those ones that's a little. Where it's is it? On the sheet, on the. Um, you will, you probably it. missed this, people. Let's have a look for because it. Because it's Leaf not. full. It's not. With any other products. Oh. So if you go in the back, the yeah. quickest way, please wait me, and you go to embossing folders. So it's on page 53 of the new mini. 53. Go to page 53 and check out, see if you guys have this. Where, Where is, is it? it? <laughs> oh, that's so easy to miss. It's hidden behind a card. So this is the and page. you can't even see it. Oh, no. No wonder we missed it. Where is This way? Yeah, yeah. This way. And you can see at the top. It's at the top. On the other side. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There. Uh, oh. This is so <laughs> bad. There. Yeah. It's hidden behind there. So, let me just, while you do that, I'm going to emboss it and show you how it looks. <gasps> yes, please. Because that's going to go that. beautiful with that um, background piece. Actually, I'll just share this screen here. How do I do? There we go. So you can see here, 53, page 53, and it's hidden up here in the corner. Oh, it's a Did 3D. some of you miss that? 
Risa said she missed it several times too. Hidden gem. It is a hidden gem because it's a beautiful embossing folder. So how do I do a 3D? It's that one. Aline. Oh, yeah, you put the grey one. The grey one. Yeah, and just the base. <clears throat> yeah, it's a very, very pretty one. So Bruno's going to emboss that for us so that we can have a look. So easy to miss a few things. So, yeah, we missed the... Miss those cute little, what were they called? Is Brittany? it still face down? It isn't, but I can pop it on. Here we go. So this is what, this is the embossing folder. Yeah. And check that out, people. What? That's going to look gorgeous sponged. You could even sponge it beforehand. <laughs> oh, Charlotte. How's anybody meant to see that? Exactly. <laughs> Beverly noticed it. Oh, you did not notice the folder. Yeah. And look how, like, it's a 3D embossing folder. So this is, yeah, it's like, gorgeous. it would be perfect in a background. And you can see in some of the samples. Good one, Diane. Diane caught um, it in the back index. Yeah, I don't, I can't even see any samples using it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anything. Oh, maybe, maybe this that one. one. Yeah, that one's got a bit of sponging yeah. on it, the orange one. We think, we think that this one's got got a little bit of the background on it. And it looks like it's got some white paint mm. on the top or maybe some, yeah. But it's very... Very, very gorgeous. Very nice. So I like that. Happy about that. I'm going to have a play. I do love to play with new products. Yes, me too. <laughs> it gets my creative flow happening. When I'm feeling a bit meh, I just get new stuff. It's a hidden gem. I reckon it's a hidden gem too. I was very excited to see that arrive. So that and the little seal of approval, seal of approval and the windows. And the windows. Yeah, I was happy that we got a few new extra things. Got a couple week. of free more celebration things. Ooh, what'd you get? Um, I got, yes, two packs of the Ring of Love. The Ring of Fire. I fell into a burning ring of love. <laughs> <laughs> so what else is new? How's things, Bruno Petucci? What have you been up to? Oh, you know, just stuff. Yeah. He's been busy with reels. Yes. Um, I created a reel um, training video for all our demonstrators out there. I know we have lots of demonstrators that watch us. I'll see if I can get the link for you in case you want to do it because I'm only offering it till the end of this month. And then it's shutting down. No longer available. You know why? Because it'll be different by the end of this month. <laughs> yes, it changes. <laughs> it changes so fast. I'm like, oh, I can't keep that there because it'll be out of date. Now, one thing I can tell you is that, hands up, if you enjoyed the online stamp and retreat. <gasps> I had Lisa so and Gina, much fun. Lisa Crucio and Gina Harley. Yeah. How's my accent? Was, did Gina it Harley. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we met up with Lisa and Gina the other night we or did. the other day, and we are planning our next online Stampin' Retreat. What? Who's in? Me, 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 when me. When is me. it? When is it? It's coming up soon. Um, but so watch out on our socials uh, for more information. If you haven't already done so, if you're on Facebook, Search for Online Stampin' Retreat, and it's got a pink circle with a heart in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I just found a picture. Is it behind the scenes, people? Shh, keep it secret. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are, Bruno? You don't play steel there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that was a bit special, isn't it? Hanging out with Gina and Lisa. That's a bit, that's a bit special. Yeah. So we were, we're putting on, um, doing some planning for that. So look out for that. Um, yes, we also have an Instagram account. So if yes. you're on Instagram, search for online stamping retreat. Just one word, online stamping retreat. I'll send one it. word, and uh, you will be able to. Oops. Um, yeah, follow, come and just follow get us some on more there. information there. I'll do some stories. We and literally things. just started that account, so. There's not many people um, that be on the phone. Mm. You can just search for, if you log in as you, Are you, true? you can search for that. True, good point. 
Um, yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, we had so much fun um, putting that out to you. And we know that lots of you really benefited from that and enjoyed it as well. We're trying to learn from our last event and seeing how we can tweak it so that you guys can craft along with it. Well, doing a bit of a mix, I think. Yeah. We're thinking we want it to be challenging for those who are advanced stampers because we know a lot of you are advanced stampers, but we also want it to, to so that you can actually complete some projects as well. So it'll be a bit of a mashup of both. Now, Kathy, good. over on Facebook, I think there must be some delay in the comment. Um, we covered the sun with... Oh, Kelly sun. just followed... We just got some followers on the online stamping retreat. Kellen Daz. Hello, Kellen Daz. And Beverly. Thank you, Beverly. And Leanne. Thank you, everyone. Well, it was so exciting watching it blow up in oh, front fantastic. of our eyes. I feel like um, I feel like Kylie an, Jenner. I feel like an influencer. <laughs> I feel like Curiosity's <laughs> girlfriend at the tennis. <laughs> so, yes, keep an eye out for more information. <laughs> Uh, follow us on all our socials. Um, on Facebook, we post We've a lot. We've got 12 followers now. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. We're like big time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going into the big time. Now, I don't Did know you post how the to, link? I don't know how to get the link from here. Uh, so, um, yeah. You just It's easier on the computer. I know. Yeah. But, but look, it's asking me for an authenticator. I'm like, I'll get lost. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> online stamping retreat, one word. It's a red... Uh, heart. Well, it's sweet sorbet, actually. Heart. Um, it's a sweet sorbet. That's heart. what the logo looks like. And we still have a couple more of these left. Yes, that's been very popular. Um, so don't miss out because we're redesigning a new pin. So this is exclusive. This is never going to return Limited again. Limited edition. Limited edition. So that's in our pins collection. And we just we just spoke about what we're going to do for our next pin design. Ooh. For the fall. Even though it's not our fall. Autumn. Autumn. Did you put a link for the real training? I didn't. I got it, but I didn't post it. So I'll pop that up for you all. Um, Neurotrobe. Neurotrobe. There's the Instagram. I'll put here Instagram. Oh, you did the hates. Instagram Reels training. And a lot of fun. Um, we did it as a part of our training course that we run every year. And um, there's been a lot of people trying Reels for the first time. And, and they're posting so it. good. And they've done a really good job. Like I've tried to keep it really simple, easy to follow because, yeah. Technology can be a little bit scary. Yeah. We understand. Remember our first reel, Bruno? Do you remember us trying to work it out? And you're like, how do I put the font how do you get the, how, do you get the how do you add music? And we felt so stupid. We were like, oh, my goodness, we're officially old. <laughs> We've officially been left behind. <laughs> but it's not true, everyone. We don't have to be left behind. We just need someone to show us how to do it. Now, I've got a question. One of our lovely followers sent Kylie these earrings. Yes. Was that you? Who was it? If it was you, can Please you let, let us, us know? know? Because the packaging was separated from the box that this came with. So we don't know who did it. So if that was you. Thank you. Thank you. And I love them. And they're fi my favourite colour too. And plants, of course. Yes. So please let us know. If it was you. And thank you if thank it you. was you. Yes. I think that's it. Is there anything else? Sandy loves our training. Oh, we love you have, having you in the training. Yeah. We've got a new training program coming up. October. October. The ho ho left over in October. <laughs> so, people, get this uh. planner. Who wants this planner? Me, 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 me. Join our team. You can only get yours. it if you join. Free. Mm. We yep. would love to have get you have that. Yeah, we'd love to have you on the team. Well, thanks for joining us yes, today, Kylie. Well done, Bruno. Thank you for doing our live today. He just suddenly, I was like, I'm going to use backgrounds. And then he's like, yeah, I've got a great card that I'm going to do. And I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks.
Thanks. Sure. I'll let you run YouTube today. You're a churb. You're a churb. Hi, Anne. You well? <laughs> so, so have yeah. a wonderful creative week, everyone. I hope that you get some crafting done, but also, more importantly, that you get to send your card to someone special yes. to make their day. We need to send lots and lots of cards around the world at the moment because there's crazy, crazy things happening. So we need to send the love, let people know we're thinking about them and, yeah, make their day. I know that we love our Random Act of Kindness cards. So we received mm. we received a couple this week, didn't we? Yes, they'll be on Instagram And Bruno soon. always shares them with me and they're so lovely. So, yeah, check out Instagram. We've got the Random Act of Kindness section on our Instagram, our highlights reel. Are you showing your card one last time, are you? This is the card. There's so the card. I'd love to see if you recreate it using some of the other, oh, sorry, some of the other designer <laughs> series paper. It's I all right, you can cover that. my head. <laughs> I, what I do to myself is I go, if I want to go this way, do the opposite. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I want to go I that way. Go that way. <laughs> it's very confusing at having it the opposite way. Um, I would love to see it with, like, the deer in the background. Even that wilderness one. Yeah. There's so many cool backgrounds you could do. So yeah. have fun. Go for go for it. Maybe a beach theme. I want a beach in the background. Beach would be nice. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one of those girls looking out the window. You can. I can imagine that with, like, if it's the a beach scene or something, mm. then you can have, like, the timber panelling on the inside. I don't know if we've still got design series paper like that, but I think there's an embossing folder still. Yeah. That um, background stamp with all the tropical leaves. The tropical leaves? Like that, imagine that. That would pretty much be just a picture of our lounge room. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a bit better now. <laughs> <laughs> so have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for your support of all of our tutorials and training and for all our lovely customers we had lots of new ones start purchasing from us um recently and we really appreciate the fact that you share our videos Pam Lewis what's Pam doing our here earrings. oh yay we found the earrings owner thank, thank you, you Pam. Pam oh they're beautiful thank you that makes sense I remember it now thank you Pam that's so good I'll send you a private message for my earrings, a picture with me with my earrings on. Yeah. Thank you, Pam. Um, but, yes, thank you so much for your support. We really, really appreciate it. And if you live in Australia and you need the catalogs, we'd love to help you. Link in the description below. It's a very good distraction creativity. I know for me personally it really helps me feel less stressed. I don't know how you will feel, but for me, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We're not suggesting that. Crafting reduces stress. But it helps me stress less. I don't know what it will do for you. It might actually cause more stress. But you'll only <laughs> find out if you try. <laughs> but we love you all very much. Yes. Keep well, keep safe, and we shall see you sometime during the week. Make sure you follow our Instagram yes. for more videos. Bruno's putting up lots on there. And we'll see you next Friday. Thank Bye, you all. Everyone. Bye. See you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Wait, wait. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 It always bye. cuts us off. It always cuts us off. So or now, it's really now long. Now it's going to be really long. Bye. Bye. I'm as soon as you sure. see the hands, yeah. then bye. we know. Bye. <laughs> what Come are you on. sure about? I'm pretty sure on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I kept talking. No, I kept talking. <laughs>